Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. JJ Squawkers for the Arcade. Now this looks like one of those Fever Dream Arcade platformers. And I've seen it in videos like maybe a year or so ago and it looked pretty interesting to try out. Believe it or not, it was like by Athena, the, the same company that was behind games like Biometal that I played. Not that long ago, as well as Desemon. So we're just gonna hop right in, shall we? It's always the Meerkats. Pistachioville is the name of the place. So basically, what you got is tomatoes, and you chuck them at enemies. It does have a day or night cycle for our game? That's actually pretty impressive. What the hell? I'm dead already. Wow, that, that lasted long. It looked like it was a part human. Like maybe it was a human wearing a mouse suit? What is going on? You just started the game and already everything's just gone off the rails. Okay, at least you have a spread fire. Usually the kind of thing you see in most run and guns. Well, I guess in this case it's a uh, jaunt and gun. I mean, look at this guy. Just moving with purpose. Oh, nice, I can use these as a platform. Yeah, I know there's a flower over there. I didn't even need to do it. Turns out you can just skip that part. Oh, that's banana peel. Well, at least it does not right kill you. You just get sent lower. Oh, look at that. I got a screw that I could fire. Those waters are way too infested. Oh, but you keep the weapon that you had before. So you don't default to tomatoes each time. The knockback on this seems really weird. Alright, let's just stick to the upper path this time. Power shot? Oh, I have an optional. Which is just a baby version of me. They finally made it to what should be the next part. Wait, did my orbital leave me? What the hell? That's rude. I was not done. Well, I'm technically done now. Oh, great. Now I fire slinkies with sneakers. Well, at least this has a lot of range on this weapon. Oh, okay, that, that's not fair. You can't just say you can get away with doing both. Damn it. Oh wow, they actually let you continue from the boss. That's convenient. I don't know what happens if you game over, though. But I'd say I'll be finding out real soon. One more hit and it's over. Oh, never mind. We got it. Oh, come back. I need the points. Dream Burglar? It didn't even show the name of the level very long. This continues to get very bizarre, and this is only the second stage. Like, probably took way too many shrooms. 
just to get to this point for like the second level. Like, you can't tell if it's like a toy world, a candy world, a car world, Pepsi world. Bouncy on Ball's world. Look at this background over there. There's like a chair, a whole bunch of bowls. It's like, what do you want to put on their background for this level? Do you want like cows? Do you want a chair? You got a woman? You got a big car? You know what? Just say yes to all of it. We don't want to debate up on it. Just go. Just put it all in there. All at once. But make sure each concept gets a turn. We don't want to play favorites. Oh my god, the checkpoint's all the way back there. That's kind of ridiculous. Well, I guess this is where the difficulty comes in. You only take two hits and you're dead. And you don't have, like, respawn on death. Not to mention, enemies are pretty much bamboozling you every couple seconds. And, wow, these, these ones don't want to go, huh? How did the hell are you supposed to get around all of this? I don't even know if you can at that point. Shouldn't have to worry about a time limit, though. Unless you were able to reach the boss in, like, one go. So therefore, I don't have to worry about that. You know what? The Slinkies were okay. Like, I'm good with picking them again. Oh, damn, I didn't even notice there was a wall about to... Chase me. Okay, I just gotta make sure I'm in the right place at the right time. When that boss starts moving. I think if I stay around here, I'm fine. Because these Slinkies should be able to take out the enemies before they try to take me out. Oh, that boss was easy! Way easier than the uh, first boss. <laughs> I'll just keep hitting you. That was worth it. Stage 3, I didn't get to read what that was. But you can't ride that. Oh wow, you can just hop on this? This is trippiness. Taken to a whole new level. Who that's watching this video even seen an arcade cabinet of JJ Squawkers? Because it definitely looks like one of those games that you would not see very often. I mean, I know I could go over there, but at that point, I'm I'm better off just trying to make as much progress as I can. You okay? What the hell? Freaking Gatling rocket launcher much? And it chases you. Look at that! How far back were you and you still shot me? I mean, at least it's slow. 
But the fact that it's attack, even from all the way back there, still finds a way to hit you. That's ridiculous. Alright, I guess we're going to have to do this strat then. I think if I stay over here, I'm completely safe. Uh-oh. We have a problem. Oh wait, we're fine. Okay, I don't think the little ones can shoot it yet, so you can just le leave them alone. Are you kidding me? I would like to get to the next checkpoint, please. Well, I'm definitely not getting it now. Oh my god, this thing is back again. This is a little unbalanced, isn't it? And why is it only two hits and I'm out? You should at least give me three. That'd be way better than this. Things just stalk you. How many enemies you got on screen at one time? Way too much. Now we got an auto scroller on top of that, too. Can you break those blocks that move? No, you can only freeze them in place. Crushing death. What a way to go. This is giving off some R type vibes. Okay, at least it's not an instant death if you get crushed, but you just take damage. Oh, thank God it didn't go up. Oh, careful. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. Dr. Wiley! You have changed. Where does this put me? Right back here! Oh, fuck this. Cheat code time. Um... I think infinite lies would be good, because at least I continue from the boss. Yeah, this game looks way too hard to try to get through legit. At least I have the checkpoint system during levels themselves. But yeah, that looks a little ridiculous. Okay, well there goes the machine. I didn't even know I was doing that much damage to it. Alright, next stage. Cosmos? What on earth? This got some uh, Mega Man X5 energy. And somehow this game is trippier than Mega Man X5. Oh, 
thought I was like out of range. Get over here, Pegasus. Oh, it's very rare that you don't run into like enemies every single place. Just right on top of the pride planet. And then it's over. Got enough rings for me? Got more rings rings than an Olympian. Wait, no. I'm thinking of metals. More rings than A Rod. That makes more sense. I got vitality, not that it makes a difference. Thanks for not being there for me, Meteor. I feel the support already. goons would come back. So I gotta deal with centaurs again. Yeah, two of them! Alright, I get to ride the uh, Viking ship. Careful. Looks like piece of a moon attacking me. Whoa, 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 Why is there a freaking Hydra? I guess if I stay over here, I don't have to worry. Oh, now I have to worry. It was just a red herring. For the real boss. Who is also eliminated. Yeah, those screws are very busted. And we're not even done. What? What is this? Oh my god, you have to do all the bosses again, don't you? So, I guess I'm pretty much at the last level now. And it looks like they have far less health. Bring on the uh, blob face thing. Or a whole bunch of minions that are just there to obstruct and harass. Watermelon? I don't think I ever picked up watermelon. Oh, the platform there actually makes it harder. Because it messes with everything here. Um... I really don't like this weapon!
I want a different one. Damn it, I let it happen again. Wow, it got me way faster this time. The Slinkies. They helped me beat this boss last time, too. I learned my lesson this time. I better avoid that. Alright, guess we'll have to do things the extreme way, huh? This is what you wanted? Got it. Also, you're a bit too close to me. <laughs> That's enough of that. Don't get the tomato. That that weapon kind of sucks for this. I jumped too late. Wait, did I get get cogs? I guess I can give the cogs a chance. Trapped. Oh, okay. Now the terrain worked really well, my favor. Oh, great! I couldn't even make it to the uh, the Hydra. I should not have fired upward, but forward. Fuck! What were they thinking with this part? Overwhelming much? Is it going to split into the serpent as well? Or is this just going to be a one phaser this time? Well, at least it keeps rearing away from me when I hit it. So all that's left should be the last boss. And now everything just gets even hazier to look at. That one just seems more durable than the others. Oh shit, that becomes the real boss.
the hell you're supposed to deal with something that shoots so fast? And so frequently, too. I don't know if any of the other weapons would have done better. I wonder the play is just to make sure the boss lands on the platform. Or put it in the corner. Because when it's in the corner, I can duck under the shots. But it's going to be very hard to keep it there. So I think that might be the play. Just keep it bouncing to the corner as much as possible. Actually, I think the peas might be the best weapon. So I'm more likely to just hit the projectiles. So I actually don't want the slinky this time. Get it away. I gotta remember when it spawns, it could just like power walk through my damage. Oh my, what the fuck? I didn't think I was gonna do the rampage twice in a row, you shit boss. Dodge it the first time and it pulls off another one immediately. Lucky if I even make it to the last phase. Assuming that's the last phase. Ooh, that was close. This is my best attempt so far. Got it! I think it's over. Holy crap, what a brutal boss. What a brutal game as a whole. At last, he has defeated the strongest enemy. He said, I'm sorry, I had total control of all their minds or bodies because I'm sad and lonely. Don't do any more evil thing. So be a gentleman and a lot of happiness come to you. Oh, yes, I understand. I'd like to make a video game and make up for what I've done. Karasukun was very kind and tired because of much fighting. He's looking back at his memorable adventures and all his loving home the end. <gasps> Good lord, I did not have time to read all that. <laughs> So anyway, that's it. That's a JJ Squawkers for the arcade. What a brutal game. I'll say that much. If you like challenging platformers on the arcade, definitely give this one a try. You might find something out of it because of its absolute absurdity. Would I... did I enjoy much? I mean, there were other arcade platformers I did enjoy more. 
Like, I know Raquel Horn was not a released game, but I did like that one a bit more. Wait a minute, it's playing a second loop? I think some of the enemies move a bit faster in this. Or they might be more plentiful. Yeah, they're just all over the place. Alright, that's enough of that. So this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.